Um, so I've got a bit of a playlist. It's weird, but okay. Also, I've never really told anyone this, but my song is Birdie Skinny Love. So my the way I see it is I'm too hyperactive on the field, so I need to calm down before the game, and that song calms me down. So I'm a bit the opposite. I try and pump down. <laughs> uh, hopefully, stay in the game somehow. Um, I, I love the, the footy side of things and a few of my mates are sort of at the back end of their uh, deals now or, or careers and they're sort of trying to stay in the game and they say the NRL are really, are really helpful with that so I'd love to yeah, promote the game and you know, or, or try and help kids coming up through the ranks. Um, I think uh, Kieran Foran and Daly Cherry Evans are, are pretty much the benchmark in the halves department. You know, they, they're two totally different players, but you know they, they work well with each other. And I know for myself, you know, watching them, I see they gel really well. So I think they've been, yeah, definitely the benchmark for the, for the last couple of years. For myself, it's definitely the mind. Um, my, my body holds up pretty good. You know, I, I do a lot of after, after things after the game and stuff to make sure my body's fine, but. You know, I definitely think it's a lot up in your head. Yeah, you gotta make sure you're, you're ready, ready for the game. And you know, I, I try and keep the same mind space for every, you know, every game I play, whether it's a, you know, a, a, a trial in the next couple of weeks or, you know, fingers crossed, we're playing a grand final because you know, it's, it's in the end, it's a game of football, and you know, whoever, you know, whoever does things before the game, better wins usually. I definitely gonna have to say game two when we won the series here. It was pretty. Um, yeah, I've, I've never ever seen any, anything like it. You know, to, to for that buzzer to ring and you know to run behind there to those, you know the Blatchy Blues fans was was amazing. I still you know have pictures of um, Jared running up and, and running into the crowd. You know that stuff you, you sort of you, know, you always see on TV and you know you always wish it happens to you and. It did, and you know, just doing the lap of honour is such a, a special moment, something that I'll, I'll never forget. Uh, definitely PE, I mean, it's something to do with sport. I, was, I always liked that, but I actually did like science too. I, I wasn't good at it, <laughs> but you know, mucking around with um, Bunsen burners and, and cutting things up, I, I enjoyed that, weirdly enough, but yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. Um, all time, I'd definitely have to say The Simpsons. But um, I got into Homeland this year. That was a pretty good show, and yeah, it keeps you on the edge of your seat. <laughs> um, I think it's, for me, it's been that I've grown up around that area, and, I've, and I'm a local junior. I, um, I take a lot of pride in, in putting on my, the jersey week in, week out, and it really means a lot to me. So for me to run out, you know, here in front of the fans every week, I I definitely don't take it for granted. I follow the Swans. I I like GWS too because they're from the West and I'm I grew up in the West. But yeah, any Sydney team, you know, I hope hope they go really well. But yeah, I don't think I could play. They're, they're way too fit and they're very skillful guys. You know, it's it's actually a cool game to watch. But yeah, I don't think I fit in. <laughs> A really tough question. They're all pretty. Uh, well, they're all not pretty. They're, they're great, great footy players. Three, three of the best you said right there. But probably have to say Freddie. He's my. Uh, he's been my idol growing up. Um, I've got to know him now. He's a good, good friend of mine now. And <clears throat> I just love the way he played. You know, he, he never, never took a backward step. What I loved about him. What I loved about him was that he was so good in defence. He was, he was really solid as a half. And you know, he just he split the game open so many times. You know, by himself and. But then again, you know, Joey Johns and Wally Lewis done the same things. But I love Freddie because he's, I think he's a bit weird like me. So that's why I think we get on so well. <laughs> I get asked this a lot actually. Um, but no, he's, people don't really see the, the real Dez, I think, you know, the way he's portrayed. But, you know, he's, one of them is definitely caring. He's a very caring person and always puts him, his players first. Uh, definitely committed. He's committed to his job. You know, you can just see that how much it means to him. Uh, how much he really wants to to win, and 
for the club and for himself and for us. Um, uh, what's the last word? Probably, probably serious. He's pretty serious, you know. He's, as I said, he's he's um, he's all for having a laugh, but when it's time to to switch on, he wants us to switch on, and it's good in a way because you know sometimes we got guys like me trying to be larrikins all the time, and he, he brings us back down to earth. So no, nah, he's, he's he's been a great he's been great for me in my career, and, and hopefully he can stay the dog for for years to come.